Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Dapper Rat, and I just wanted to shit out a small video gushing about the recent For Honor Warriors Den. First things first, the title is not clickbait. The video I just released about a week ago that was meant to rework body count, as well as a video I did in November of 2023, perfectly replicated in the Year 8 Season 3 Warriors Den. For the more recent video, it was a kind of a mesh of my two potential ideas for body count, but they essentially addressed the problem with body count for a character like Warden, who has no use for it. As for the older video where I talk about a lot of the pain points of feats and where they need improvement or tweaks on a grand scale, I said, actually I'll just roll the clip. To summarize, we need more unique feats to avoid staleness, to attribute feats properly so that they feel cohesive with a hero, and to balance them to avoid repetitiveness and player anguish. The first problem we're going to tackle is uniqueness. Now there is both a high and low effort way to go about this and both could be implemented side by side. The high effort way is to implement new feats for each hero that meshes with their kit or character the way Afira, Pirate, and some other heroes do. Now understandably, no studio really wants to spend money on new content when old content can suffice. However, if For Honor devs were ever to run into a creative drought, then this implementation would be a huge change for the game in a big way. And they did just that. They chose both solutions, reworking body count into a new personalized feat for Warden, as well as adding a completely new feat to mesh with his kit. That aside, as for the patch notes, I like the light light heavy chain that they gave Lawbringer, however the shove after a light feels a little out of place and pushing towards a power creep kind of situation, although I doubt the impact will be incredibly oppressive, but I'd rather opt for nerfing the problem children. As for PK, I mean, come on, she's essentially been beefing with Nushia for the shittiest hero spot. So a buff to the flow of her chains is incredibly welcome, especially since it's not a buff to her outright neutral pressure, it's a buff to a counterattack. Unpopular opinion, but I feel like we're teetering onto the other side of the turtling meta seesaw, where now you just gotta be hyper aggressive at all times instead of letting there be a little bit of breathing in combat. Centurion got a buff, happy for you sent mains, that's about it, I mean like, enough said, it's a good change. Uh, now for the feet patch notes, nothing stands out as bad, I'm honestly happy about the thrilling comeback buff, it's honestly one of my favorite feats by design, but yeah, that's about it, and so, as always, farewell ladies and gents.